Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Blackberry Bulletin. I'm Kyle Turner with LIUathletics.com. Let's get to it. Men's basketball team opened up their season at Barclays Center with a game against St. Peter's on Saturday. Jason Brickman notched a double-double in this game with 13 points and 14 assists. Here's one to Landon Atterbury for the lane and the foul. Jarrell Martin also had himself a day in this game. He scored a career-high 24 points, shooting 7 for 11 from the floor, and he was 6 for 8 from downtown. It seemed like this kid could not miss from three-point land in this game. Blackbirds held a seven-point lead at halftime. Here's Brickman with a pass down low to EJ Reed. He gets the shot and draws the foul. And then the Blackbirds up by six midway through the second half, and Martin hits an NBA range three-pointer to make it a nine-point lead for LIU Brooklyn. Just over five minutes to go. Blackbirds up by one. Jason Brickman beats three defenders by himself for the lay-in and the foul he would convert on the and one. St. Peter's would take a two-point lead with three and a half minutes left to go, but Brickman finds Atterbury for the three-pointer. Blackbirds go back on top, and here's LIU moving the ball around until EJ Reed hits an NBA range three-pointer. Blackbirds up by five. St. Peter's is able to get a shot, but it doesn't go. Reed gets the rebound, passes it to Brickman, who finds Atterbury in transition for the lay-in, and he finished with 11 points in the game as the Blackbirds get the win by a final score of 87. To 80. The women's volleyball team continued their winning ways with a match against the Red Flash on Saturday. On set point in the first set, Jessica Rice gets the kill as the Blackbirds go up one set to zero. Then in the second set, it's Annika Foyt smacking it down for the kill. She had nine kills in the match. Blackbirds take the second set. We move to the third set. Jordan Jackson in the match. She scores the kill as the Blackbirds roll over the Red Flash in three straight sets. Then on Sunday, it was a matchup with Robert Morris. The Blackbirds dropped the first set to the Colonials. It was only the second set they have dropped in conference play this season, but the Blackbirds then cruised to a four-set win over Robert Morris behind 17 kills from reigning NEC Player of the Year, Annika Foyt. On Saturday, the women's soccer team competed in their semifinal match of the NEC tournament with Fairleigh Dickinson. Starting in the first half, just over 20 minutes remaining, Jen Peters is cleared for takeoff as she sends a rocket of a shot into the back of the net. Blackbirds take the lead one to nothing. The Knights would tie the game in the second half and this would go into a second overtime session. The ball comes to Shino Kunisawa and she places the ball perfectly in the lower corner to give the Blackbirds a two to one victory over the Knights as they would go on to face the red flash of St. Francis in the NEC Finals for the fourth consecutive year. The Blackbirds held their own against the Red Flash, but fell short in their bid for a third straight NEC championship, one to nothing. Jessica Sexton had seven saves in the game. The women's basketball team opened up their season at the Steinberg Wellness Center against the Columbia Lions on Friday night. Starting in the first half, Blackbirds up 12 to nine, Kelly Robinson with a pass to Brianna Ferris. Her pass gets deflected, but Alicia Myers comes up with it and finds Cleandra Roberts down low for the lay-in. Roberts had a career-high 23 points in the game. Moving to the second half, Blackbirds down by two. Columbia gets the ball, but Otava Whippy with the steal and the bucket. She had 16 points and 10 rebounds in this game for the double-double, but the Blackbirds fall short by a final score of 62-59. The men's soccer team was unable to get the win they needed to get to the NEC tournament, dropping a 4-0 decision to the Terriers of St. Francis, Brooklyn on Sunday. And in men's basketball, senior point guard Jason Brickman was named the Choice Hotel's NEC Men's Basketball Co-Player of the Week. Brickman picked the St. Peter's defense apart on Saturday, registering 13 points and 14 assists in an 87-80 win over the Peacocks. Brickman now has 733 career assists, just 72 away from establishing a new Northeast Conference record. And in volleyball, Annika Foyt was named the Molten NEC Player of the Week. Foyt led the Blackbirds offensively with 26 kills in wins over St. Francis University and Robert Morris. Foyt recorded her 11th double-double this season in the win against Robert Morris, registering 17 kills and 13 digs. It is the fourth time this season that Foyt has been named the Molten NEC Player of the Week and the tenth time in her career at LIU Brooklyn. And here's a look at the slate of games for LIU Athletics in the next week. The men's basketball team travels to Indiana for a game with the Hoosiers. That game can be seen on Big Ten Network. Women's basketball travels to New Jersey for a game with Ryder. And women's volleyball wraps up conference play with matches at Central Connecticut and Bryant. 
if the Blackbirds beat Central Connecticut on Saturday, they will host the NEC tournament, which begins on November 23rd. That's all we have for this installment of the Blackbird Bulletin. We'll be back next week with more LIU Brooklyn sports news and highlights. I'm Kyle Turner with LIUathletics.com. Keep flying high.